to me to live is Christ and to die is? Why is it gain? Because what he's been searching for his whole life is Jesus, and he's going to get to see him when he dies. That's why he says in chapter 1, verse 23, For I am in a strait betwixt two, having a desire to depart and to be with Christ, which is far better. Nevertheless, to abide in the flesh is more needful for you. Man, I want to be with Christ. My whole life's about it. That's all I talk about. That's all I live. That's all I do is I just want to live for Christ, but i got to stay here for now because you need help. <laughs> kind of what he's saying. You guys need to help, so I'm going to stay, but now I really want to go. <clears throat> C.S. Lewis, of course, author of the Narnia book, said, If I find in myself a desire which no experience in this world can satisfy, which no experience in this world can satisfy, the most probable explanation is that I was made for another world. If I find in myself a desire which no experience in this world can satisfy, the most probable ex explanation is that I was made for another world. D.L. Moody, I'll tell you just a couple stories and I'm done. D.L. Moody, of course, famous preacher and evangelist in the 1800s and saw so many people say at the end of his life he wrote this he said someday you will read the papers that D.L. Moody of East Northfield is dead <clears throat> don't you believe a word of it at that moment I shall be more alive than I am now I shall have gone up higher that is all out of this old clay tenement into a house that is immortal a body that death cannot touch that sin cannot taint a body fashion which is born of the flesh may die. That which is no a, a body fashion likened to his glorious body. I was born of the flesh in 1837. I was born of the spirit in 1856. That which is born of the flesh may die. That which is born of the spirit will live forever. That I'm not I'm not dead. I'm more alive than I've ever been. I'm resurrected. Fanny Crosby, who wrote many of the songs in our hymnal, she was blind. She wrote the song, hey, heaven's going to be great and all that, but I long to see my Savior first of all. That's where I'm going. And I wonder today, do we really want to know Jesus? Or do we want to just stay in the two inches of salvation, be as shallow as we can be, just get by? Can I tell you that there is an ocean that you are missing out on? I wonder today, what does that take? It takes an appetite. It takes an appetite. J.D. Pentecost said this, when God's children desire to be fed, he will feed them. God is not in the business of forcing open closed mouths and pushing food down our throats. He feeds in response to our appetite. Why don't I know God? Do you want to? Do you have the appetite? The most important knowledge about Jesus Christ comes through salvation. And if you're here today, and you may say, I want to know Christ, but maybe you don't know him as your Savior yet. That's step one. You've got to get your feet to water. You've got to be able to say, I know him as my Savior. And every religion on earth will tell you two one of two things. Every religion on earth will either tell you the way to heaven is by doing good works or by the fact that it's already done. You can't do good works to get to heaven. It's already been done for you. Jesus dying on the cross is the way for you to get to heaven. And all you have to do is repent of every single way you've tried to get to heaven. Repent of all that and say, hey, I'm changing my mind. And I'm accepting Jesus and only Jesus as my Savior. That's how you get it. Every religion is one or the other. Are we seeking Christ? Are we seeking to know Jesus better? Kent Hughes said, there is no doubt that if any of us knew today to be the final days of our lives, we would wish we had made Christ the passion of our existence. Father, I pray you'd help us today with this. Lord, maybe today there are people here that would say, I don't have the passion I need to have. What I want, I want that appetite. I don't want to stay in the shallows. I want to know the glory and, and knowledge of God. And I pray that 